let's do it. Got the iPhone 14 Pro boxing right here. Got a couple accessories and even got one case super early. Got the iPhone 14 Pro leather case early. That actually came last week, I think, shortly after the event. So we're going to try that on the iPhone 14 Pro. And weird to see the face of the podcast. Thanks. It's Max Digital. Yes, my face has been on this channel if you uh, like to see. Also, uh, if you're wondering, hey, what's up, Nick Fitzpatrick? Fitzpatrick. Good to see you, man. I've, uh, I interacted a lot on Twitter, but also wearing the shirt from Basic Apple Guy. Buy your mom an iPhone. That was the uh, message Tim Cook gave the uh, questioner when uh, at the code conference. So let's do this. So I got the... Uh, See, top-down camera. I'm going to be switching the cameras with my Stream Deck pedal. So this is the case I got, and let's see, let's see what this is. I got the leather case, of course, and this is the silicone case. I like to have a leather and a silicone sometimes because if I'm going to be at the beach or water. And so got the iPhone 14 Pro silicone case, and yeah, that's pretty nice. Got the little blue color. And gonna try that out. Got the silicone and got the leather case. We're gonna try in a moment. Yes, I broke the tab on this one as I was uh, trying to open the box. So there's the iPhone 14 Pro silicone and leather cases. Thanks, Nick. Sound and audio is good. Very cool. All right, well, let's get to the main event. Let's unbox this 14 Pro. Here's the box. Didn't even unbox the cardboard box. And let me do a little uh, picture in picture so you guys can see that as well. So, let's see. I always love how Apple does the, uh, the little tab there where you can just pull it to open the cardboard box. So let's do that. And, all right. Really hope this is the iPhone 14 Pro. It said it was delivered, but this is, uh, this is the first, let's see. There it is. iPhone 14 Pro in the cardboard box. Apple's been doing this thing where like the boxes have those little arrows and you can kind of like push it down so the box pops up. That's pretty cool. So here is iPhone 14 Pro. Got it in silver this year. I usually have done colors in the past. I did the Sierra Blue last year, and uh, I think I did a year before that, but you know, purple is not really my color, so going with, uh, yeah, going with this guy. So let's see, pretty thin box. Got the uh, little green arrow, of course, to open it. That's Pull that. Oh, there's two arrows this time. There's actually one at the bottom as well. So let's do that also. All right. Now this one, this this is the part I was uh, I was nervous about. Let's get this out without dropping the phone. Let's try it. Let's get this little paper out of here. And then I'll take a picture in picture for a second. Okay. iPhone 14 Pro. Here we go. Shoo! That is the silver. That's pretty nice and white gonna be honest that is very white I mean it's silver they call it silver because of the silver edges which is like the stainless steel but man I really like that okay so let's lift this up and of course the paper we'll peel that off in a second I'm gonna put that down to the side just for a moment and of course we have the USB-C to lightning thing and I have those everywhere we'll probably give it to one of my kids <laughs> So, and of course the little sticker thing. Oh yeah, this is the eSIM card that shows you um, you no longer need a physical SIM card. You activate your eSIM during iPhone setup. Now, I don't know if it's because I was getting this phone today, but my iPhone 13 Pro has actually been giving me not good cellular. Like I've actually not had service today. This is my iPhone 13 Pro and it's been in this like SOS only mode like i've not been able to send sms text messages today so i'm wondering if it was as a result of the um, iphone 14 pro coming today in the eSIM. so we will see of course you got all the little papers and such and of course you get one apple sticker no colors for the apple sticker just white although i didn't get a colored iphone so maybe it's different but i watched other unboxings and it didn't look like it so okay let's peel it off i'm gonna put the microphone near the peel maybe you can actually hear it let's see there's the microphone. Did you hear it? <laughs> Did you hear it? Maybe not. <laughs> so there it is, iPhone 14 Pro. The uh, very fingerprinty sides. You can see I've literally just taken it out of the box, and you have fingerprints there, 
and <laughs> fingerprints everywhere. Here it is next to the iPhone 13 Pro. And you can see, I mean, it's it's slightly different body shape. I could tell from the case that uh, it's like slightly longer, a little bit longer, maybe even a little bit wider. We'll try it on the different cases and see, but you can definitely see that camera bump is definitely larger. Let's see if I can get it without the reflections here. It is slightly larger camera bump for sure. And as far as depth, I mean, I think there is definitely a uh, depth difference there in the cameras. I know it's hard to see. Let's see, this is really weird trying to do this live, but <laughs> there we go. You can definitely see it's a little deeper uh, camera lenses. So yeah, that's it. So let's start this up and see how it's gonna go. Hit the power button. Man, that thing really sits high off the desk. I wish you guys can kind of see that, um, how much it is off the desk. Man, those camera bumps are big. Whew, that's pretty wild. What's up, Stevens288? Very minimal unboxing, actually, though. Yep, thank you. Well, here we go. Let's turn it on. Let's get it set up and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully it's got some charge in it. There we go. And there's that. While that turns on, we can unbox some of the uh, cases I got here. And we'll leave this here. We'll leave my iPhone 13 Pro there just for kicks as well. I really love the new astronomy lock screens. I've been using those with some widgets. So, oh, I already said hello. All right, let's see what this is about. There's that dynamic island. Very nice. All right, here we go. English, and let's go down to United States. All right, let's try the quick start. Let's get this started, and then we can look at the cases and see if this will work. So here's the quick start. And then on my iPhone 13 Pro, this is how you should do it. If you get a new iPhone, do the transfer from another phone. Well, there's my email. I just uh, put that on the stream. <laughs> Send me an email if you like the stream. How about that? <clears throat> All right. So setting up the new iPhone, now we do the scanning of the little uh, dust cloud. I believe that came out in the uh, original Apple Watch, right? That was the original Apple Watch. Who will be using this phone? This is interesting. It's asking whether I'll be using this phone or my child. Uh, it is definitely me, Apple. It is definitely me using this new iPhone 14 Pro, not my son. <laughs> so continue there. All right, now I have to finish on iPhone. Let's see. Passcode of other iPhones. Sorry, I will not do my passcode live on the air. That would be a bad idea. So setting up. It definitely feels a little different. Definitely feels different than the 13. All right, that's setting up. Let's see if it asks for any more prompts there. And then we'll uh, we'll continue on. Who have we got tuning in here? We got a number of viewers. Thanks everybody for tuning in live. Thought I'd try this out. And oh, yes, my Wi-Fi network is Lord of the Rings themed. Hope you enjoy that. Continue. I mean, it's already selected. What do I need to do here? It is that. Okay, it's thinking about it and it may take a few minutes to activate now this was the moment i was worried about quinn nelson snazzy labs on twitter was saying that uh, at&t might not do so well today with all the iphones activating so hopefully this is uh this will activate it's going to an e-sim now there's no more sim card slot on the iphone as you can see sim card slot on the iphone 13 pro no sim card slot on the iphone 14 pro man look at all those fingerprints so yeah, SIM card slot, no SIM card slot. All right, I'm going to transfer from another iPhone. Transfer from another iPhone. Oh, so this is the SIM card transfer. And it's going to be activating. All right, it's activating. Can't put it down just yet. I did not have a beta on my 13. And I just, I, I do the beta on my iPads, not so much on my iPhones. Because, I don't know, the beta still get me a little, eh, and the beta 16.1, I did put beta 16.1 on my iPad and it's pretty buggy. Things like pulling up the dock is not working very well. So not gonna be putting, I don't put any betas on the iPhone. Um, does it move you out of the beta when you transfer over to the new one? That's an interesting question. Um, I didn't run the beta, so I'm not sure. I know for my son's iPhone 13, he ran the public beta 
And then what I did was deleted the profile on his iPhone 13. So when the official iOS 16 came out, he went to that, the official iOS 16. So you probably need to remove the beta or remove the profile, and then you'll go back on the, um, the standard iOS 16. So this thing is still activating. I have concerns now about whether or not this is actually going to activate. So I'm going to leave this off to the side so my, my number doesn't stay right there on the, uh, on the screen. And, oh, it says connecting to network. Hopefully we'll be able to get back to it. Let me do some case unboxings while we wait for that because I already broke the, uh, the leather case one. I will do that first. Let's <laughs> see if I can pull this out. This is the brown leather case for the iPhone 14 Pro. It's kind of my go-to. I always like getting a, a brown leather. And to show you, I have my brown leather case from last year, and you can see the patina year over year. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro case that I've had for the past year. And I think I need to move this out of the way so it focuses. This is uh, the patina after a year on Apple's leather cases. I always kind of prefer their leather cases over any others, really. Man, I don't know why it's not focusing. But anyway, uh, so that's the patina on that. And so this is the new brown leather case I'll be using with my iPhone 14 Pro. And I'm curious if that, how it'll fit. Oh, it's activating the eSIM. Okay, so back to iPhone 14 Pro. Activating eSIM. You can continue setting up your iPhone while your eSIM is activating. Okay, well, let's try it. Hit continue on that. And, oh, setting up Face ID. Um, I'll take a second. I'll take a se second and set up Face ID. It usually only takes a second. So let me get started and position your... Oh, it's a little... They actually use the dynamic island now for the, uh, the Face ID thing. So here we go. Move your head slowly in the direction. And there's the one scan here. You can watch me do it here on the, uh, the main camera there. Use Face ID with a mask. No, I don't do the mask settings. First scan complete. Huh, it didn't ask for a second scan. It just had the first scan. Now, this is the part where you really should transfer directly from iPhone. I've always found this to be the quickest method. So I'm going to transfer the information here. It says three and a half hours to transfer. Usually it's not that long, but let's try it. So it's going to set up the Apple ID. Um, we'll put that, again, off to the side. So, again, here's the brown leather case for the iPhone 14 Pro. And a little darker this year than the brown case last year. This was the, you know, kind of brown leather case from last year. Again, there's the patina. You can see the MagSafe circle. I charge a MagSafe every night on the Belkin 3-in-1 uh, tree charger. You can kind of see that circle there. Oh, got to accept some conditions that I didn't read on the... Uh, oh, shouldn't say that live either. All right, so there's the brown case. And put that off to the side. And now let's do the blue silicone case. I like the silicone cases also from Apple because they, I don't know, they fit great. They feel really good. And if I'm ever, again, going to be around water, I try not to bring the leather case. Leather and water don't mix very well. So here's blue. Oh, that was upside down on the case. All right. So there's the blue silicone. And... Oh, that's pretty nice. I do like that blue silicone. There's that. I do have a, a darker blue silicone for my 13 Pro, but uh, I like this blue. So there's the two cases, iPhone 14 Pro leather case in brown, iPhone 14 Pro blue silicone case. That's pretty nice. They feel good. All right. It is now setting up my Apple Card on the 14 Pro and Apple Cash. So here's the 14 Pro. Let's uh, put a case on it. Let's do uh, silicone first. If you're uh, watching in the chat, you're watching live, we'd love to know what have been your uh, favorite widgets for using an iOS 16. Still searching for my perfect uh, widget setup. But, all right. iPhone 14 Pro in the silicone case. That's pretty nice. I like the feel of that blue. I like the look of the blue. I do like the white camera sticking out from the cases too. That's always kind of nice. And, yeah, it feels good. Let's see. Let me go with, let me get it out of the case here and not toss the phone across the room. Oh, there's the dynamic island. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do some dynamic island things. So supposedly if you mute and unmute, it shows it in the dynamic island. Whoop. I was about to show my adding things to Apple Wallet. Probably should do this later. And setting up card. Okay, let's see if I can do this without doxing myself. Let's see. There, well, hold on. <laughs> let me let me keep doing these uh, 
these Apple Wallet things. And uh, here you can take a look. I wanted to try my uh, the MagSafe Duo I have also and the MagSafe battery. I wanted to see how that worked on the, uh, the new iPhone 14 Pro. So we're going to check that out. What other questions do you guys have? All right, Brian Bruce, waiting for my Space Black 14 Pro Max to be delivered. Already got the brown. Yeah, brown leather case, I'm telling you. It's a good case. You should, uh, if you guys haven't tried I know people look for those cases everywhere, different kinds, and I always come back to apples. Uh, I've tried, like, the Nomads. Those are nice. But, yeah, something about apples. Okay, so let me add this. And, okay, try not to show sensitive information on screen. <clears throat> But uh, let me try, I'll tell you what, let's do one of these. Let's see what the iPhone 13 Pro does in a 14 case, because that should reveal it. <laughs> Pablo said, I like the big camera bumps. Nice. So we've been too, yeah, too much gigabytes to transfer unless, yeah, I know transferring stuff is always a little, a little meh. I get it. Let's see. So iPhone 13 Pro in a 14 Pro case. So that's my 13 Pro in there. You can see the camera bump. There's a little gap there. So you can see how much bigger the camera bump is on the 14 Pro because there's that gap in the silicone to that. So yeah, definitely a bigger camera bump. But the 13 Pro fits the in the uh, 14 case. So 13 fits in the 14 case. I don't think with the larger camera bump, the 14 will fit in a 13 case. So all right, let's see what the uh, doing now. Oh, that's not nice little animation. Let's look at the dynamic island real quick. So when you do uh, silence and turning on the ring, it supposedly has a little animation. There it is in the dynamic island. Look at that. And so when you silence it, a little dynamic island tells you that it is silent. And little unsilent, there you go, it tells you it is on ring. Very nice. Little dynamic island stuff is pretty nice. All right. Let's keep going. So let's try. I should have added these cards later. That is what I should have done. Uh, let's see. Hey, Mark Sutter just got yours up and running. Easier transition from last year. Okay. That's great. Um, let me see. One more deal here. I think one more card. Let's see. Amazon. What are the questions you guys got? Take some courage to do this live. Yeah. <laughs> This is my first time ever doing this. If you guys want me to uh, do the Apple Watch Ultra in this uh, live stream, you got to let me know. Or the uh, AirPods Pro 2, also coming next Friday. And I should be getting those on launch day, supposedly. So that would be fun. I'll be doing that. Let me know if that's something you would like to see, the live unboxing. I've seen the Apple Watch Ultra box. Supposedly it's going to be pretty cool. Very uh, adventure and explorer uh, kind of based, I think. So... All right, I'm going to add that later. Hit next. Man, uh, it's taking a while. But anyway, let's see. Let's see MagSafe battery pack. Oh, the switch cameras here. MagSafe battery pack on the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's try that. This is 14 Pro MagSafe battery pack. Phew, that like just misses the camera bump there. Man, that is close. Again, this is the 14 Pro, not the 14 Pro Max. Hey, Clay Montgomery, you're going to pick yours up tomorrow. All right, very nice. <laughs> yeah, Terry Tech waiting not so patiently for UPS. I get it. Man, so this is like right at the edge of that camera bump. My goodness, that is close. So, man, I mean, Pro Max phones will have a little more leeway, but if that camera bump gets any bigger, they're going to have to redesign the, uh, the mag because that is, that is really close. So... Man, I do like the silver though. The white is very nice. So anyway, let's. So I'm trying to tell this card later. Oh, emergency SOS screen for emergency SOS. Again, this you can have always done. Press and hold for emergency SOS. You have crash detection. If iPhone detects a severe car crash, automatically try to call emergency service. And then coming fall 2022, it says available in select countries iphone can try to text emergency services that is just the in canada right now but it will be coming to more countries uh later apple uh, made that official it will be coming to more countries this service is free for two years 
when you buy a new iPhone 14, but it will cost after that, and it is unknown uh, how much it will cost. Any information on that? So, very interesting. Okay, it is now transferring data from the iPhone 13 Pro. So, we tried the uh, MagSafe battery pack. Let's try the MagSafe Duo. Um, what's up, Tanner? I did the Silver Pro Max with the same case. Cool. Um, yours is in transit. Very cool. Well, hopefully you get yours in a couple hours. I do. Man, I really like the. Uh, I put it in the leather case yet? Maybe I didn't. Let me try to put the uh, case. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. So there's the iPhone 14 Pro, brown leather case, silver. See, I like it sticking out from the brown leather. That's pretty nice. So, very cool. Well, when it comes to the uh, Duo charger. Let's see. Nick said, ultra unboxing would be cool. <laughs> Trying to convince myself it's worth it. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, I'll do I'll do the ultra unboxing. I think that'll be a fun uh, unboxing for sure. I'm trying to see what else we could do with the uh, dynamic island here. I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't have access to the control center or anything. And it says the transfer is going to take three hours. So we will not wait around for that. <laughs> Let's try the, uh, the MagSafe Duo charger. Brian Ruse, yeah. Trucks in the neighborhood. Yeah, I followed that UPS truck very closely today because I was not going to miss this delivery. I missed it last year. Did not want to miss it this year. So here's the uh, MagSafe Duo charger, and it's pretty flat. I've heard that the Apple Watch Ultra might have an issue when it's in that vertical position because it's so close to uh, to the bottom here. So let's see if this thing fits the 14 Pro. Hmm... That is a little, a little iffy. Let's see. Don't focus on that camera. Focus on this. Let's see. What does this look like? That camera bump, very, it is lifting the MagSafe Duo just a little bit. And so, I mean, I imagine that would still be connected. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's get the cable. Let's see if it's actually charging. Let's see. What other questions we got here? Uh, is there a stronger magnet hold than previous model for MagSafe? That's a good question. <clears throat> is there a stronger hold for MagSafe? Let me try the MagSafe battery one more time. So MagSafe battery, that does feel pretty like a pretty strong hold, I'll be honest. I'm going to be very careful here. I'm going to try and lift it by the MagSafe battery. That does, that does feel like a pretty strong connection. Not going to lie. That's a pretty sturdy magnet there. All right, that was the 14 Pro. Let's try the 13 Pro. Let's see what that magnet felt like. Huh. I guess that was pretty close to the camera bump too. That's the 13 Pro. Uh, it it feels pretty pretty much the same. It, there is a little wobble here on the uh, 13 Pro when I use the MagSafe battery. Let me see if that same wobble is uh, present here. Let me pick it up with the MagSafe battery. Oh, there actually might be a little less wobble. I think it actually wobbles a little less. So uh, this is not a definitive answer, but I do think the iPhone 14 Pro has a bit of a stronger magnet here on the back. Uh, it definitely wobbles a little less. So hmm, that might be a thing. That might be a thing. Uh, it's Max Digital. So very cool. That's, that's transferring. I'll leave that there. Let's try to charge the 14 Pro with the MagSafe Duo, and let's make sure it actually works. Um, yeah, curious, very curious. So here we go. Got my uh, lightning to USB-C cable and going to plug this into, uh, I have the, I think it's a, yeah, the anchor something, something. It's this desk, it's like a little desk ball where it has both like a MagSafe charger and USB-C and A ports on the back. So here we go. Tried that and let's plug it into the MagSafe Duo. So MagSafe Duo should charge. And now let's see see how this works so and yep it's definitely charging it's definitely charging on the MagSafe Duo so no problem there it does actually again it, it makes it bump up a little bit you could see that that camera lip is right there on the MagSafe Duo charger and it creates this little gap right here of right there 
So, I mean, it doesn't lay exactly flat. It's not going to affect charging. And if you do it with a case, it's going to be fine. Like, it will lay totally flat. So, I mean, if we do the case on it, and then we do the MagSafe. Oh, no, that made it worse. <laughs> Wait a minute. That actually made it worse. So, oh, man, with a case, it is charging. So you can see in the in the upper right corner there, it is charging with the MagSafe Duo. But man, that that gap right there is quite something. So if you use a case with your iPhone 14 Pro, the Max version probably doesn't have this problem because it's a much larger phone. But with the iPhone 14 Pro and the MagSafe Duo charger, if you use it with a case, this is Apple's leather case, there is definitely a significant gap right there. Uh, that's something. That is something. I mean, that camera bump is literally resting on the MagSafe Duo. So again, it is charging, but that does not feel great. <laughs> it doesn't feel great with the, uh, the amount of gap there. You can see that. Man, I don't know about that. I really like the MagSafe Duo when I travel and I like charging it, but I might have to uh, investigate another option here. Now, yeah, it is, it's a little wobbly shaky, for sure. <laughs> um, the Belkin 3-in-1 charger that I use by my nightstand, it actually, the phone just hangs on it, you know, and so not worried about the camera bump on that, but this flat plane here of the MagSafe Duo, that, uh, that's an issue. That caused an issue. Hey, Nick, UPS just drove up to your house. <laughs> Enjoy your new iPhone, man. That's very cool. That should be a lot of fun. Well, this thing is going to take a while to transfer. Anything else I should try here with the, I got the MagSafe Duo. I got the Apple Silicone case. I have the MagSafe battery. This is the case for the uh, 13 Pro right there. Anything else you'd like me to try before we, uh, before we sign off? And again, let me know if you like these kind of live unboxings. Uh, it was kind of fun doing it. Does MagSafe battery work with case on? Yeah, absolutely. I do that all the time. And this is... MagSafe battery with the case, and you can see it's charging. Oh, look at that dynamic island. Hold on, we got to see that animation. All right, let me take this off again and put it on. Oh, it didn't give me that. It didn't give me the animation that time. Maybe I need to be unlocked. Let's try this. Okay, so it's unlocked. Unlocked now. Let's try to see if we can uh, trigger this animation for the MagSafe battery pack. So putting it on. Ooh, look at that. Charging, 87%. Oh, that's kind of nice. You can actually press the dynamic island even if there's nothing going on. Gives you a little bit of haptic feedback. And yeah, you can feel it. That's pretty cool. So yeah, MagSafe battery definitely works with the case. That's how I use it most of the time. As you can see, it's charging. Um, I pretty much live with my iPhone in a case. I don't I don't go caseless. I'm not, not that daring. But so that's MagSafe battery with the case. Um, yeah, any other questions uh, before we go? Again, if you like this, subscribe to the channel, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> subscribe to the Bearded Teacher YouTube channel. I have uh, videos about the focus filters and about the lock screen customizations and planning on doing some other videos there. So subscribe. Uh, again, let me know if you'd like to uh, see some other live unboxings. That's pretty fun. And again, here's the, uh, the case. I just covered my 13 Pro with the case of the 14. Sorry, buddy. I got to send you back. I have the uh, iPhone upgrade program. And so that's a trade in. Going to trade in the 13 Pro for this. So, yeah, there it is. iPhone 14 Pro. Let's take it out of the case one more time and do another close up around the device. And then we'll go. Try and get the case out without. There we go. There's the, there's the silent switch again. We can look at that. There's the dynamic island. Ring. Silent. That's pretty cool. So here it is. All fingerprinty already. Try and not get the reflection there. You can see the fingerprint, silver banded side. And there's the there's the back. I do really like the white back. That is pretty nice. So with silver. And let's go with the again, no SIM card slot. There is the uh, millimeter wave 5G band right there. Sherry Tech says, I love the iPhone Pro Max Life, so my MagSafe Duo should be fine. Yeah, I would think your MagSafe Duo should be okay because uh, the larger phone, that camera bump is going to be farther away from the uh, the charging plane, we'll say. And uh, 
There's that. Yeah, pretty nice. Still uh, lightning, as you know. <laughs> no USB-C here. Still a lightning connector there at the bottom. I wonder if the antenna lines are the same. Let me get the 13 Pro out real quick. Are the antenna lines the same? So we got antenna lines. You can see that uh, there's a little bit... The uh, sleep button is a little offset. That's one of the reasons why a case is not going to work year over year. The uh, sleep button, as you can see, I'm trying not to drop my phones here, is, is a little offset. Let me line them up. There we go. Ish. There we go. Little off center. Is it, is it that it's larger or is it just... Huh, maybe it's just larger. Hold on. Let me try to get this exact here. It looks just offset, not larger. It just moved down. The uh, white iPhone, that's the iPhone 14 Pro right there. They just moved the sleep button down a little bit. Antenna line's the same on that side. Let's check out the other side. I would love for Apple to do the reverse charging. And I don't think they, I don't think they hit it. <clears throat> so here is the other side. Antenna line's the same. And the, uh, the, the 14 Pro is definitely a little longer. So, and the volume buttons are slightly, slightly offset. Slightly offset there. Same with the sleep button. So, because it's slightly 